Welcome to the Boys Only Cast, the only podcast where Curtis <laughs> isn't ready, but too bad. <laughs> Fuck him. We're starting anyways. Uh, I'm Devin. Okay. That's me, this guy. Joined by, obviously, the interrupter, Curtis. What if I don't interrupt? You were interrupting me the whole time I heard you talking. Oh. And Mikey. Hello. Yeah, see, Mikey doesn't interrupt. He waits his turn like a good young lad. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah. I do. I get paid this is, uh, to be a professional. Yeah, we get paid in dick sucking. Oh. Yeah, uh, of course. This is free. episode 43. Yeah, 43. How does it feel, Curtis, to be 43? Um, Slowing down a bit. Bones are hurting. Yeah. A little little harder to get out of bed. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, how are the knees? Yeah, how are the uh, knees? Oh, the back's breaking. The knees All are right, shaking. But he asked about the knees. Oh, well. Yeah, I didn't ask about yeah. the back. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, oh, the you. back doesn't matter. <laughs> Kneecaps are popping out. Got to smack them back into uh, place. Uh, you uh, you performing with the wife okay? Uh, <laughs> you performing? Not like the old days. <laughs> Ah, shame. You, yeah. you know what? Kids doing good in school? The, they've done better. I'll say that much. Ooh, wow. Uh, you got, uh, they don't, uh, they don't uh, work as hard as they used to. They don't know the what's day. going on in this. You got to smack some sense into yeah, them. They don't know what's going on in this online thing. Give now. them the old one-two. Give them the one-two. You, hit, the old you, one you two. hitting them and them hitting the floor. <laughs> the three Bs, bath, beating, and bed. I mean, sure. <laughs> I only got the one B is the beating. That's it. Fucking, they can no, figure oh, yeah, out the rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, no, no, you, got, you got the two. You got uh, the beating, and then, I don't uh, know. You were like, just, you got knocked out. I don't know that people have heard. Bedtime. I don't know that people have heard of the three B's before, but to me, it's hilarious because why would you give the kids a bath and then beat them? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Wait, is that an actual thing? I don't know. I just heard so I heard it said only one time. But well, it's you you clean them up for bedtime because when you knock them out, they're not going to be ready for anything else. It's, even when I google it, nothing shows up. So Well, it's probably not I a think thing. that was a your family thing. No. <laughs> it's just Curse is just it's, abused it's, as a child and he doesn't even realize. It. He's just like, yeah, that's great. Just laughing about it. Wait, you guys don't know the three Bs? It's, it's like, common. no, this is a funny thing. <laughs> yeah, three, it's a real thing, remember? The three Bs are funny. Everyone. <laughs> it happens to everyone. If I splashed more than three times in the bathtub, I'd get the shit kicked out of me in the oh. bathtub. Oh, so. Oh, so you're allowed two splashes? Oh. Two well, yeah, because Curtis has OCD. It's all in the threes. Oh, in threes. <laughs> But I'm saying, like, um, yeah, like, maybe your performance in the bath dictates how the beating will your be. Your performance in the bath. Hmm? Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. Curtis is a predator. <laughs> You're on a fucking list. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just, I, no. <laughs> Shit. Those are weekly viewers. It's the fucking FBI. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like our viewer count went up, and that's just the FBI. <laughs> oh, <listening. laughs> Shit. Well, at least someone's listening. Hey, guys, how's it going? Wow. Yeah. Excuse me, Curtis. Do well, you even know like, our viewership? There, there has to be at least four people. Both of our, F all of our FBI agents, uh, and then now we're on a new list with you're, more. You're agents telling now. me I only have one agent? The amount of Maybe. the amount of shit I've Googled in my day. I have to have like an entire team just designated to <laughs> me. Entire team. <laughs> Curtis, you, we say anything, and I'll Google it, and I don't care about putting it on incognito. The only time I go on in incognito is for my porn. That's it. Incognito, I mean, got to use that. that. I mean, like, it doesn't even really hide anything. Just your search history. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. I don't. I just don't have to go back and delete that. I don't have to have the shame yeah. of looking back there's at. There's a it. lot. There's <laughs> actually a lot. A lot of other uses for incognito. Like nowadays, if you go in and if you happen to go on a news site or Imgur or something, and and they're like, "Hey, turn off your ad block," and I'm like, "Fuck you," so you just go in incognito. Or you know what you do if it says turn off no, your ad block? I still get hit with that, though. Yeah, I just, I just pause my ad blocker if it's something I need to get onto a website for. I guess you could. Mm. That's easier, actually. Going to incognito is a little bit excessive when you think about it. Yeah, literally. It says, like, disable your ad blocker. All you do is click the ad blocker and then just hit, like, the uh, one I have. You just pause, and it'll even ask me to re if I want to refresh the page. 
Oh. If I get a news ad it, or that I see that I click on and it says, "Would you like to disable ad blocker?" or like, "Please disable ad blocker," I'll be like, "Ah, oh, I guess I'm not reading this news story." Yeah, it, yeah, like most of the time. Like if I go on fucking, if I get like I'm googling something and it's like a Forbes link, I'm like, "Guess I'm not gonna look at it because Forbes is literally like disable it, or you can't view shit." And then it's like what I think the Wall Street Journal or something is like ha, Wall Street ha, Journal subscribe, is, yeah. Otherwise, you can't read it, and it's like cool. Don't care. <laughs> I, I can find sources elsewhere, sir. And that's what I actually had to do. I'm, I'm going in school or working on some report, and I swear to God, the people who invented APA formatting hate students. They they hate us, and they want to make citations the most annoying thing in the entire world. The whole thing about citations Yo, is just so they dude, can, like... Those are so easy, low-key, They're I think. easy, but the whole uh, yeah, thing but about it's, it is... It's annoying. <laughs> no, it's the whole thing is, like, they want you to fucking prove that you did research. It's like, fuck you. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I like, guess so. Man, the best, the best thing is if you have to do a report with APA citation is if it's about, like, something law-related, because then you... Happy report is directing case law oh. or textbook examples. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So it's like it's super easy, and it's like you could just like do an like a five page report with like using like three or four texts. I remember I just one one uh, thing I did in college. They were like, uh, you need at least like eight different sources for this thing, and I was like, oh, okay, that's easy. Yeah, and she's like, at dumb. least three of them need to be books. Like, yeah, go fuck oh. yourself. Like, Get out. So I went torrenting books for a week because I wasn't going to the fucking library. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I understand the point of, like, making you do book research because, like, it's a skill set that you should learn. But, like, the world's about the internet now. At the same time, bruh. Like, yeah. I know, but... No, I, I mean, that's I mean. the thing. You can find books online. No, but also, like, you can find all of your goddamn information online. Well, yeah. some of them want you to use the online college library no as well why can't i uh, why can't i cite a youtube video why not i want you to. can the ap can you formatting tells you how to cite a youtube video <laughs> there's a whole document but but do th will the teacher allow you cites a flat will, earth video will the teacher allow you to I don't know. It's I in mean, the you document. might get called out on it if it's a bad source. I just remember yeah, doing yeah. one. No, I remember someone asked. They're like, oh, the APA thing says you can do YouTube. And the teacher was like, yeah, but don't do it. Oh. Well, yeah, maybe it's okay. like using Depends Wikipedia. Depends on the teacher, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but like. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the idea is like if it's in a YouTube video, you could probably find the actual source yourself. Yeah. And I, Unless like it's a professional speaking that information, because most of the time on YouTube it's someone just re relaying information. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to get a lot of money. Like this is future future goal. This is my retirement plan right here. I'm gonna go onto Wikipedia, take every page, and just write books using the Wikipedia information. Oh, but not say that. Well, like I can cite it somewhere in the book, but then everyone else can basically just cite Wikipedia articles. Just use my oh, stupid okay. shitty books. <laughs> <laughs> just get the Wikipedia publishing rights. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like, I'll, well, what? I'll just tell Wikipedia. What? They're always asking for money. Okay, I'll give you like one percent. <laughs> guaranteed, if fucking people were like, oh, I can cite Wikipedia by just buying this like ten dollar book. Wikipedia Imagine. would take a dollar. But I mean, like Wikipedia, a lot of the times is like sources. So you just yeah, like exactly. You go to their sources. <laughs> Yeah, but, and, question mark? Yeah, but, and. I'll be in but a no, published I, I, book. I'll be published New York Times <laughs> bestsellers. <laughs> yeah. Man, what a dream, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little too hard on APA. It's just because we were doing it today, and, and I'm just like, s stupid margins. Just Man, it's not as bad as <laughs> Chicago format. No? That's the worst one? Chicago sucked. Like, oh. that was, like, you had to have, like, a title page a certain way. The, the, uh, actually, like um, sourcing and citing stuff, you use like the numbers, footnotes, and you mm -hmm. had like the actual like reference page kind of shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I don't know. It's like way more complicated. You need to have like certain size margins. And like, what's up? 
What's so up dumb. with this running head when you got to write the words running head <laughs> at the top of the paper? Oh, my God. That's so stupid. Why do you have to write running head? <laughs> This this might be you don't this might be like <laughs> in a, a real paper you wouldn't I know it's weird <laughs> this might be like a me kind of thing I hate rough drafts well the point of well they kind of help though so no nah. you can like okay but make it maybe for you I've, I've never made I've never actually made draft documents in my life I've always had like one document from start to finish that I'd edit it, kind of what I would yeah, do absolutely. this is how I would do it though because for me it's like. I'm super like ADHD so I can't like focus on all that kind of shit. I don't want to So my brain is like I'm going to sit down and write this goddamn report in like a day. And then when they're like, "Hey, I need a rough draft before you can like do your final." I would just edit down the final to look shitty and rough <laughs> and they'd be like, "There you go." Yeah, oh. or it's like when you get the uh when they have the necessary peer review section. Fuck those. It's yeah. like that that's when you I well, fucking hate that. Yeah, that's cuz we have to but That's do when that. you, that's when you do a lot of your edits. We have to yeah. do that and and I was like, how about we make the font 13 point, we make the spacing 1.5 and if the other group doesn't notice it, then we can call them out because they fucked up. <laughs> cuz it's not proper <laughs> formatting. No. They didn't realize it. If <laughs> did you do you know the thing to do if you make a if you actually make your report and it needs to be a certain amount of pages, what you need to do, if you need to get like an extra few paragraphs out, what you go into the file and you do find and replace on every uh, period and comma and raise it to 13 because it is actually unnoticeable and it makes everything <laughs> it shit. It can shift you down like a few lines. Oh shit. <laughs> I learned that in high school Finally, and that, please. that saved me through high school. <laughs> God, that's just so poor. That's just so dumb about all these page limits and stuff. Eh? Yeah, it's and, and even word limits when you gotta just put bullshit in instead of actually useful, concise. Yeah, writing. They're yeah. like, yeah. What, when I when when I got to college, I just like learned. It's like as long as you get to the last page, you don't have to fill it out. It's mm -hmm. like good enough. My. It's like I, I I straight up like will hand papers and it's like here it's and meanwhile it'll have one line. On like the last page. Oh yeah. It's like there, thirteen pages. Yeah. I uh, yeah. there was one in my first yeah my first year. They were like, oh yeah, it needs to be like seven hundred and fifty words or something like that. I handed mine in. It was like seven hundred and fifty three words, and I got called out for rambling or repeating topics, and I my response <laughs> I sent an email back that said. I had to get that many words. I didn't have enough information to get that many words. So there you go. <laughs> Devin, you're rambling. Yeah, you, those you three required words. this many words. Yeah, I met them. the this many words. <laughs> those like, three words really, like uh, you, every Devin, you, single... shouldn't, you shouldn't type um three Fuck. times. To <laughs> <fill it out. laughs> like Fuck. If, if there were never word limits, or like word minimums or like page minimums, I think every essay I wrote in like school it would have been 10 times better oh absolutely they, i think like yeah like mm -hmm. every essay would be better yeah like if i could that. just write my own essay like mm -hmm. as long as i have uh, an intro a body an exit and I, it should be good and enough. like who gives a fuck as like, long as it's like, like what where in my life am i gonna be asked can you write a rough draft of a fucking essay and then i'll look <laughs> at it tell you what you need to fix and then you go yeah. fix it like, yeah, yeah, you. work. At work, they're gonna they're gonna ask you that. They're gonna ask you to write an essay about uh, something you do in your job. <laughs> they need that e rough even draft. then, it's like even then, it's like <laughs> if your boss wants like a write up of something, they're not like, hey, most obviously, like if you get into like sciences and shit, sure, there's gonna be like your thesis and shit. That's different. Yeah, like when you actually like yeah, like when you're in academia, yeah. when you actually have to do papers but and like, stuff. But like, I, I have to do like research for my job. Most of my shits just point form in like little paragraphs. Like I, I don't have. I've never had my boss ask me, oh, "Okay, can you get me this research with APA format?" <laughs> it's yeah, like, like that just doesn't happen in the real world yeah. unless like you're an academic. Even then, I don't even sense. think academic even uses that fucking much. Like e even like, well, like only even like science when you go look, I I could be very wrong because obviously I'm not a fucking scientist, but like. When a scientist is trying to fucking study 
neurons and shit do you think they have to sit down at the start of the day and they're like all right this is my thesis for this week <laughs> like this is what i'm gonna work on it's like no they I'm probably just work go on there my title page this morning. yeah they, they go there and someone says hey we have like something for you to look at and they go okay and then they start doing fucking research about it they start doing science maybe shit like i don't know like maybe traditionally but like now everything could just be like video recorded yeah. they could just talk into a camera School is a waste they, of time. They just need, like, social skills now. That's all scientists Do you guys <laughs> hate this new trend on YouTube of the shorts? People uploading the one-minute videos? I don't know if you noticed that. That's been around for a long time. Like, it's just you probably haven't noticed it. Well, it's, just, it's been more prominent. At least the people I've subscribed to in the last, like, month, I've noticed that people have been uploading the minute-long videos more. Well, uh, I, the I algorithm... Well, I think that's... I think that's getting on the TikTok trend kind well, of thing, like short attention yeah, span. The YouTube yeah, algorithm has moved it, towards it, shorter anyways. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, you know how the old ad revenue was like, you got to you gotta reach 10 minutes. And then now it's like, yeah. you know what? Eight minutes is good enough. Mm -hmm. yeah, and now I mean, well, it's because, like, no one watches, like, a full 10-minute video. They skip for through it. Oh, no, I do. Like, when I watch videos, I skip a minute through the intro. Well, I skip a minute through the I'll skip I like cringy parts. Long, I like to long it. videos for background noise and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Like, like I don't mind, like, watching, like, those, like, longer videos if it's, like, a documentary-style kind of thing or video essay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah something like video essay, definitely. You can't have video I mean, essay like, typical one minute stuff. short. <laughs> I don't know if that's like, if I'm watching F1 gameplay, I don't want to watch, like, seven minutes of a person talking for a five minute race fair enough especially uh, a lot of a lot of people sometimes don't really say anything especially the let's plays they don't really like say anything useful like it's I mean, just a lot of padding mm -hmm. and stuff for me yeah i guess for me my best example is like rooster teeth since i watch achievement hunter stuff pretty much every day i watch i go and like see what they release and i watch it um Sometimes if I see a video that they upload like if on like their weekly series, if it's like a thirty minute video, I'm kind of like depressed about it. I'm like, only thirty minutes? What the fuck? And then they upload like a two hour video, I'm like, there's two hours of my life I'm gonna waste right here. Yeah, like I'm always I like long. when I like uploads a long video. Yeah. No, the I algorithm's it's moving it's though. It's I think right now seven to nine minutes is the new is the new one i think but like i've noticed like in my feed i not necessarily short videos but like well like hashtag shorts but like i've gotten more like just short random clips of like stuff from like years ago sometimes it's old stuff sometimes it's new stuff and I, recommended yeah like just random yeah. recommended yeah like, recommended uh, has um, been like fucked for the last little while like you'll get like why honestly, why did i get me. this video <laughs> I've recently kind of liked my recommended though. <laughs> I've been actually getting some decent ones. So yeah, sometimes there's good ones, and sometimes the other ones you're like, "Where did this shit come <laughs> from?" Like this, this is a 30 second video. A guy doesn't realize horse is standing right behind him. <laughs> He's literally oh. standing there for 20 seconds, and then he turns around and then he sees the horse. It's like, oh shit, a horse. <laughs> that's the whole video. <laughs> that's pretty oh, much shit, it. A horse. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send the link. Let it. Like, everything about YouTube is just... It, since it's always changing, and now they've pretty much, like... The algorithm is autopilot. It is, like, AI learning just goes with it. And then they just look at the information and go, like... Oh, this is what's popular right now. And, and that's usually yeah. how it goes. Nonsense Which, like that. Well, that's the best way. Curtis, would you rather, if it was your company, would you rather... If you were John Google himself, would you rather some pay some dude to sit there all fucking day or just oh, pay no, one outright fee? It's just it's just classic. I do it too. I've always done it. John Google. Every, every time YouTube <laughs> has changed, I've complained about it. I've cried about it just like everyone else when it changed in 2011, I think, at the end of the year. I was crying about it. Everyone's crying about it. And then it changed again. Every every time there's a change or a difference or something. When, always, when like, long fuck. format came out... I was so pissed. I was like, God damn it. Like, now everyone's going to upload long videos. Like, I don't care enough oh. to watch a 30-minute a video. Now I'm just like, 30 minutes plus. I need it. I, my, <laughs> 
well because after a video is done it's like if it's if i got a five minute video and it took me 10 minutes to find that video it's probably gonna take me another 10 minutes to find another video well and sometimes i'm like if i if i'm doing something i want to put videos on and mm-hmm. like i watch all the videos from someone's channel i'm like shit oh now what am I, now what am i gonna put on <laughs> you know that's so that's yeah, remember um back in the day there's this certain uh commentary youtuber fluffy talks mm, no idea i don't know oh well like he just pretty much commentate on like trends and like current news stories like in like kind of like five minute min- video formats okay like and he kind of got big like 1.4 million subs back in the day like this was uh this was back when uh, like you know awards channel yeah, awards yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, he had a couple of those. Everyone always and then uh, the, the format changed, and then, like, all of a sudden he just dropped out because, I guess, commentary um, died out. Yeah, commentary died. And then died. now it's kind of back again. <laughs> I mean, I'd say it kind of came back a little uh, bit. Uh, yeah. Recently. I don't, I haven't really seen much but like, commentary, but I guess that's, I don't get recommended. It. But that's what I mean. It's, it's weird seeing, like, old videos, like, someone, um doing commentary from like 13 years ago old cnanners videos yeah like <laughs> there's 13 there's a cnanners video i remember from him getting a nuke in modern warfare 2 and it's like you would think if like now you would think someone's like oh getting a nuke in modern warfare 2 you think it's like l- the actual gameplay with them talking during the gameplay meanwhile it's him just sitting talking about something else while the gameplay of him getting the nuke is going on and i was like what the fuck was YouTube before? Yeah. Um, I was rewatching the greatest freakout videos the other oh day. Oh my god! And those are prime documents of culture in two thousand nine. Just too bad they are all scripted. Oh, obviously they're obviously fake. But yeah, but I liked it when I saw the first one, and I was like, "This is funny." And, it and was then real? they all kept going, and then eventually you kind of catch on. Like, it's oh yeah, fake. first when especially two thousand nine when we we're younger. Yeah. Definitely, I definitely thought they were real, but when you rewatch, I mean, they're, they're, the the acting's great. Like that guy, he's, he's he's a little too good. He's a little too good at, <laughs> at it. You know what I mean? Like, he, there's yeah. probably some issues. There's probably some issues. Like he's too good. I at mean, it. or or he's just shoved a remote in his ass before. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other Something, one? Um, Psycho um, the one dad. where he smashes his dad's guitar. What was it? Well, the I was vacuum. Thinking he smashes the vacuum. I'm not talking about Greatest Freakout, though. Oh, well, the German, I'm talking well, Psycho German Dad. Or? No, Psycho Dad. What's Psycho Dad? It's um fucking, what's his name? McJugger Nuggets. That guy. Oh. Jesse Ridgeway. But did you know? Okay. But, his sorry, his but stuff uh, was. Did you know there's oh. a Greatest Freakout 36 oh from one year God. ago? I hadn't seen the recent ones. <laughs> it's a six minute. And te- it's six minutes and ten seconds long. It's oh. like greatest freakout. Just it's not. Well, they made it, it, it was, was like, funny the first mm-hmm. time or yeah. the first two times. Just like the, the psycho few, dad. The psycho dad the was first, funny yeah. as well. The like he ran few, over the Xbox games angry. with a with a lawnmower, and I was like, yeah, that's funny. And then he just kept going and going, and going. Announced was, that it was uh, fake, and then he just kept going, and now he still does it. Like there's angry mm-hmm. grandpa as well. Yeah, but he died. 2011. Yeah, he died. Yeah, and now the guy still makes fucking YouTube videos under the Angry Grandpa fucking name. There's something about that guy. I don't know. He's, He's fucked up. shady about that guy. Yeah. Maybe and not. Kid, kid with a camera or something. Is that him or is that someone else? No, Kid with a Camera, I'm pretty sure. Is, is He does these videos, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah Kid Behind a Camera. Well, um, yeah, something about him. Mm-hmm. Talking about these uh, YouTube channels reminded me there's a... Uh, a, a YouTuber I started watching this um, this past week that he kind of like talks about older YouTube channels, like in like the fall. Blame it on stuff. George. Uh, no. Um, ah, fuck. What is it? It's like there's ah, fuck, I, there's a lot of those channels. Uh, Sunny, Sunny V two. Oh, okay. I was like, please don't tell me it's Quentin reviews, please. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's uh, Sunny V2. He, he d- did one on, like, Fousey Tube. Um, I'm not a fan oh. of Sunny's videos, and I don't know why. Mm-hmm. There's something I haven't seen. I, I only like his, like, downfall videos. Mm-hmm. 
really. I don't like his thumbnails. <laughs> Who is it? Blame, blame it on George is all right as well. Yeah, Blame on George is good. He's is. another one of those like YouTube lost media and sometimes true crime. I don't watch. Yeah. I don't like true crime, so I don't watch those videos. Mm. But it blame it on George I is I watched the Dan Schneider video from two years ago. Oh God, I don't want to play it. I watched yeah, his Dan Schneider video a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> that one's good. Yes, I had lost, like the no lost idea media about it. Interesting. Hmm. Um, I I don't like some true crime channels, but some of them I do. Uh, that chapter. Uh, I like his true crime videos. Do you like the like they're Do you like uh, OG hmm? Corpse Husband before what he is now? Uh, never watched him. Yeah, uh, he was one of those like pretty much just like read r- scary Reddit stories kind of mm-hmm. thing. I like those. Like right, I never really watched. Uh, recently, he started getting. Uh, recommended to me a lot, so I started watching them again. Mr. Nightmare. Is that what it is? Yeah. And it's not even like, the, s- the uh, stories aren't super fucking like creepy. They're kind of weird, and it's, same, it's just like, the dude's voice is just nice. It's nice to listen to. But uh, another uh, true crime, Unresolved Mysteries, like that, uh, the BuzzFeed show, I think it was. Mm, BuzzFeed. As time. opposed to Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> Tonight on Unsolved uh, Mysteries, un- we'll find out who gives a fuck about wait, Bigfoot. Wh- wait, what's the what's the BuzzFeed one? Oh, I don't know. The Try Guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just called Buzz. Wait, what's no, called? Curtis, have you seen the video the like Try Guys did recently? <laughs> no, I don't watch. Them. No, no, I don't watch them either. I found I got recommended a TikTok from them. They remade like Twilight, <laughs> in like no, in like someone's backyard, horribly dressed out. It's fucking hilarious because they follow the script. And it's the oh God. the really tall, lanky dude with glasses. Okay. Fucking is um. What's the chick's name? Um, whatever her, her name is, Bella? he is what her. Is yeah. <laughs> so he's wearing a dress, like running around, and he's like, "What do you mean, Jacob?" <laughs> oh, it's okay, fucking that hilarious. Be, that could be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. There, there. Buzzfeed stuff has. If if you get like short form clips, they have some well, funny things. The Try Guys isn't BuzzFeed anymore. No, but they used to be. That's why I, yeah. I said um, BuzzFeed just closed something recently. Um, um, also, it's BuzzFeed Unsolved. Is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. 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 yeah the Unsolved True Crime. Oh, that's the one. Like I is I that? I watched them at first. And, like, it was, like, okay, this is interesting, but then, like, they just kept, like, joking, like, whenever they try to, like, talk about it. It's, like, all right, man, I'm here for, like, the true crimes. Yeah. Not, like, some fucking bad is jokes. Is that the one, Unsolved, where they went on, like, the ghost hunt? Uh, maybe. I, I, I remember, I like, watched a them. quote. He's, like, walking. He's, like, come here, goat man. <laughs> oh, God. He just tries shit-talking <laughs> ghosts. And it was, like, hmm. Uh, here's what it was. BuzzFeed shuts down. Uh, Huff Post Canada. Rest in peace, I guess. I, well, apparently, according to this, they filed to unionize, and <laughs> BuzzFeed was just kind of like, okay, bye. Oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Yikes. That's what it's like. D- unions are kind of. I mean, is the Huff Post even like really that, that good of a news? Mm-hmm. Couldn't tell you. Honestly, for a while, I thought they were satire. <laughs> just because the only times I'd get recommended stuff from them was just like absolute just dumb shit that I didn't care to read about. Kind of like like the Onion articles. I won't read them, but sometimes when I see a headline, I'm just like, what? I'm like, huh? Wow, this headline's so crazy. I thought it was the Onion. <laughs> I fucking. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You know it's made its way back into the world. Maybe I'm right. just I didn't notice it. Um mentioning it means I've lost it, but that means you guys have lost it as well, the game. You fucking mentioned that a few weeks ago. Yeah, and it's just fucking everywhere now. I keep seeing it all the goddamn time. Like I'm watching I, I haven't seen it, it. It's turned into the, another coconut mall. Like oh, not coconut mall. <laughs> or Delfino Square. <laughs> 
there's another uh, Mario Kart. Oh, did you not thing watch? Now? Okay, so this is gonna, I gotta get some backstory. To it. Um, I had messaged in our Facebook group chat asking Curtis if he wanted to be coconut mauled, and you said no. So I sent a video, which apparently you oh, didn't, didn't watch it. No, it's literally just it. you just got Delfino squared. Oh, <laughs> um, no, but there's videos where it's like I like TikToks that are like 20, 30 seconds. I'm watching and I'm kind of like trying to figure out what the video is about. And then it just like quick cuts and it's subtitles on the screen. It's like, you just lost the game. And I get so fucking annoyed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But uh, kind of going back to the satire <laughs> thing, there's a Canadian satire news site called The Beaverton. It posts some good shit. Like uh, seven hours ago, local man relieved COVID symptoms, actually just depression. <laughs> <laughs> Editorial, Antifa spoiled my crops, soured my dairy cows, and fucked my wife. <laughs> Can I cite them for my report? Sure. I mean, yeah, they have writers. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, it's a legitimate thing as long as I do it correctly. Fuck, like, that's the, that has exactly. to be the life. Like, you just get paid. <laughs> a li- like, most of those guys probably have a living, at least for The Onion, I would say, have a living just writing fucking nonsense straight up like just taking local events and just yeah like imagine fucking i uh, <laughs> seagull quit cigarette butts in favor of discarded jewel paws <laughs> like how do you think of that <laughs> like that i swear to god like those fucking people could write tv shows with some of the shit they yeah, pull like like <laughs> kind of like skits almost yeah like I, they could if fucking like SNL or something all of a sudden has all their writers quit just go fucking hire like the top writers for The Onion you'll be fine yeah The Onion and The Beaverton yeah. any any parody news like fuck. even like there's um there's a conservative uh, satire news site The Babylon there, I've seen a couple articles from them and it's like I've actually gotten a chuckle I've, out of I've it I've seen article like headlines from them I didn't realize they were satire <laughs> It's a lot of those yeah, like you didn't if know. I don't well if I don't like actually read the articles ninety percent of the time I'll just be like what the fuck like what was ah oh, there was a fucking article and this was an actual fucking article it's probably not saved on my phone of course not I thought it was satire because it was just so goddamn ridiculous and it just turned out like I don't know someone was uh, fuck what was it about. Someone did something fucking really stupid, like trying to fuck a, a beaver or something. I don't know. Like, if you read a headline that but, says, uh, like, man tries to fuck beaver, I would think that'd be satire. <laughs> but, he, like, uh, from the Babylon Bee, here are seven telltale signs your newborn baby is a racist. <laughs> Jesus. Just, like, dumb shit like that. I feel like now that we're I love it. talking about it, I'm going to get fucking... My phone's going to give me nothing but articles from, like, the Beaverton shit. Fake news now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be like, oh, is that, did that really happen? Man, some, that sometimes this news? gives me articles from so long ago. Like, when fucking Sean Connery died, my phone alerted and gave me a news article two weeks later, but told me it was a new article. And then I went on to it, and it was a fucking two-week-old article. It's like, whoa, he when, died again. No, when I found out, I didn't even know he died because I guess I just wasn't on Twitter for like two weeks and was not. I don't go on mm. Facebook anymore, so. Yo, sometimes um, articles, they'll straight up edit them, so it'll like change the date of posting, mm-hmm. so it'll make their article appear newer, even though it's the exact same shit. Damn. It's like um, it'll say posted this date, last edited this date like brah so this is uh only because i was looking at the article thing on my phone um and this kind of goes completely to a different topic um microsoft apparently is trying to buy konami really well i mean there's the sega rumor that's going they've around been, like trying to acquire a bunch of game studios for game Pass. Bruh, if they get konami like i can finally play all of those games that i've never fucking played because they're not on xbox finally play all of those games like um all of them uh they did heavy rain is konami heavy rain and 
the games that followed Heavy Rain and all that shit? You'd have to ask Curtis the PlayStation expert. Curtis. I'm not that much of an expert. I don't play mm-hmm. those games. I don't know. Well, you know more about PlayStation than either yeah. of us. I guess. <laughs> Yo, they could get Sega. Fuck yeah. Sonic and Tails 1. Sonic and Tails. You want to play Sonic and Tails? Is it? I think that's a Is that game Sonic Gear game. Is that Sonic 1? You're thinking no, of Sonic 2. 2. Yes. Sonic 2. Yeah, maybe I do want to play it, yeah. Curtis. I want to play it on my <laughs> Xbox One S, though. I want to play it in 4K. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So I was looking at a monitor today that I almost bought. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I need to buy a fucking bed. But I almost bought a $600 monitor today. Oof. 1440p ultra wide, 200 hertz. Oh, damn. How many? How, how big? Uh, I think it's a 29. But it's an ultra wide, so. Mm-hmm. Damn, would you just go to the one monitor stand or setup? No, I would uh, probably go move it to three because I like my ultra wide that I already have, but it's kind of shitty. So it's good as a second monitor. And this other monitor I have, it's still a good monitor. And if I ever, mm, I don't know, I feel like I need three. Two, I always feel so cluttered. Or yeah, two feels cluttered for me. Mm. Damn. I mean, like, I never really have anything open, so, like, <laughs> two isn't a lot. Like, two, yeah. like, I don't really feel cluttered. I like, I got, uh, Netflix now automatically will, um, make movies. Obviously, if it's an old fucking standard deaf movie, it won't fit. Um, but if it's, like, a newer movie, it'll turn, it'll stretch it to the ultra wide monitor and it's so nice set up yeah set up a vhs to uh the monitor <laughs> if you get it <laughs> fuck yeah. yeah um it's some laser disc i think we have to we have to wrap her up rapper and tapper as curtis says every time because all he does is it. love talking about his sexual innuendos get out of here because he just slays yeah. he pulls all the time curtis there's the only time that the word Curtis and sex is in a sentence is when it's Curtis always has sex. Oh, okay. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> and, like, he never says no to sex. Yeah. Okay. Curtis is the yes man of sex. The yes man. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. You could ask anyone. It's a fact. Get out. <laughs> Curtis has a signed contract <laughs> with his girlfriend that it's, uh, consent is always there. She doesn't even have to ask. <laughs> Sign <laughs> contract. Yes. Well, you know, she doesn't want to get in trouble with the law. Not today. I'm not really feeling like it. Oh, <laughs> shit. The contract. She pulls out the contract. She's like, ah, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But then it's like, it's fine. I signed the contract. Are you yeah. telling me you wouldn't sign a contract, Curtis? That said that? What the fuck? <laughs> get, get, no. Curtis, you don't understand women. <laughs> Oh, okay. You tell her no the one day she wants it, and you're done for three months till she wants it again. Why are you talking like you've been married for 20 yeah. years? Yeah, exactly. Curtis. It'll be, uh, if you say no once, it's going to be, you're never going to get it again for 20 years. <laughs> I've, been, I've been in too many long relationships. This is what happens. Okay. It never gets better, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> it never does. Curtis, one day you're gonna nut. It's gonna be the last nut you'll ever have. The last <laughs> nut. All your relationships will end. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, you'll nut your last. Obviously, nut. one day everyone will have a last nut. No, what are you talking about. But okay, well, it'll be like a last, not self the nut. The last nut. You know, <laughs> like it won't be the final nut because obviously you'll just yeah. beat your shit. But like one day, it'll, it'll be like you know how Jesus had like the last nut or the last <laughs> dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Curtis, I better be invited it's to like the that. last nut. <laughs> the last nut. <laughs> Gather you my 12 disciples. Some of my boys to the last nut. <laughs> and then it would just be a disappointment. <laughs> yeah. How do you know? Yeah, the Romans show up. <laughs> Curtis. No, okay. What? I don't know. Hi. I mean, bye.
that's it. We're done. 42, 43. Um, Curtis likes beating his children. That's all we learned today. Good old. And Curtis likes beating his children and APA, and he hates APA format. Yeah. So if his kids ever come out in APA format, <laughs> <laughs> they're in trouble. If his kids come out citing only on the last page, they're fucking done. Yeah. Curtis is like, point form only. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> Bye.